Do we have any other questions from the folks who are not in Norman? Hello, this is CSU in headquarters. Uh, Steve, uh, I found this is a very interesting topic. Uh, here you say culture, I believe is organization culture. I believe this also, the conclusion also applies to other areas because we have tested in the three different beach for recurrent forecast. And I found the uh, work in the spirit, uh, that's what I call culture, does affect uh, the uh, the warming uh, uh, result and then the uh, performance. The real reason after I uh, think over, I think because the, uh, the, 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 the problem itself doesn't have a uh, uh, so-called objective tool to make the uh, warming. Uh, so maybe this is uh, the same reason that the uh, tornado uh, warming is not, uh, I mean the, the tool for tornado warning is not perfect yet. So if we improve, I mean from management the viewpoint, uh, if we improve in science and then uh, have a better tour, and on the other hand, uh, if the manager has enough tour to encourage the uh, agriculture, uh, the, the organizational culture, then we, with, from both ways, we can improve the performance. Yeah, uh, right, I think, uh, <coughs> thanks, yes, that was, uh, that's essentially what, you know, my, my belief is that if you were able good performance in all the product lines at a given office to the degree that they experience those phenomena. So, but, uh, you know, other areas would, would show similar positive results, if you will, in their ability to carry out the operational watch, you know, forecast and warning mission. Um, however, you know, to this day, still the tornado is the one where you still have this very, very hyper local effects going on. I mean, with the in the forecast, you know, we sort of diluted with, with the uh, advent of the, the digital forecast database and offices trying to, uh, you know, work together, so to speak, that, that the, the cultures, uh, the signal probably is getting a bit washed out in, in the forecast area because of the, but it still it seems, in, uh, at least for now, that the tornado warnings are local, 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 and, and really, the, uh, you know, not that much imp impacted by the, neighboring offices. Do we have any other questions from folks on the phone? Yeah, is this slide presentation going to be available uh, for others to look at by email or on a server someplace? Yes, we're actually recording this. It's going to be kind of a podcast. I don't know if you would call it that, but we'll, we're going to make that available to uh, everyone. Great. And I'll send out that information once it's Any other questions from the room? Well, I have a comment. Um, in my previous job, um, I was part of a project that won an award from Harvard University, and their, their program was in the American government. And so as part of that, I started to do a little bit of research from their point of view about what they consider to, to be an innovative government organization. And it was cultural. And and, and in, in many senses, the kind, of, the, the kind of things you've laid out as what the good, the good culture is, is what they would can consider to, to be a hallmark of, of an agency that's innovative, especially those with customer focus, uh, empowerment of employees to make decisions and, and things, things like that. So that might be something to, 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 to kind of look, look into because it's, it at least seems to, to, to be a, a pretty good correlator for, for what uh, is good. You're a good, good, good culture. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, I mean, th having thought about this uh, quite a bit, the, the, the idea of the culture, you know, this was all new to me as well. Um, and, um, and, you know, but the recent results show this, this, the enduring nature of culture. So I you know, have experienced uh, myself under the Jack Kelly era, era um, that you can get performance, you know, with a, with a whip or, you know, but it generally, once the whip goes away, there's, there can be, you know. Uh, so the question of the cultural approach to this, one where you establish something that doesn't just work for six months when so-and-so is there, uh, where you have huge penalties if you don't perform, but lasts on 
it seems to be maybe the, the best way to look at this. So you, it's not something you just insert in, but you have to build and nurture. So I, you know, I, it's, it seems like that may be where they're coming from. And I mean, it, reading some of the literature, not, not nearly enough, I mean, you, you do see these themes that I put in, you know, appearing in lots of you know, management kind of books and so forth about the importance of doing this and that. Um, so, but applying what's in those books is not trivial. That, that's, that's the tricky thing. And, you know, if, if you like drop into an office like some have done in Chicago, uh, like a Martian, and try to say, okay, here I am, I'm going to do magic, it's, uh, it's not, tr it isn't easy, you know. And, uh, and some, you know, you can say, well, the best thing is push a little, not too much, what's the right balance, you know, what do I put in place, how do I, you know, and all this hierarchy that goes on, you know, within an office where you have lead forecasters that get great deference from anybody. I mean, they've been, they've, they've been there since who knows when, they've, they've achieved great things, they may have published papers, they've gotten gold medals. So you just don't go and say, hey, Jack, or hey, Jim, or hey, Sally, you know, you, you, you can't just do that. It's not that easy. And uh, so, yeah, that's a tough one. That, that, that is... Uh, even, you know, and, and there's other studies done on this where, where you have this very strong, now they claim, you know, American society is not that hierarchical and that we tend to, uh, uh, we have deference to, you know, those of authority above us, but not to the point of, of um, you know, really bad things happening, but, but still it's there and, and people are respectful and, and, and also you have, you know, this history of a, uh, both a military culture and an academic culture that's in place. Both of those have deference to authority and deference to seniority and tenure. So, yeah, it's 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 not it's not easy. That's why it seems like that there's some credence to that idea that when the they did the moder the, the restructuring and they cr they basically created these brand new offices from a cultural standpoint that that was an opportunity that was exploited to some degree, and and we've benefited. You know, radars were important, but that was also equally important. Yeah, good point. All right, I think we're done. It's uh, quarter to 12 now here in Oklahoma. Let's give Steve a hand.